All right, this is how you input densities. I'm gonna try to make this as quick as possible because it can be a long process, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Um, sorry, let me let me go back to the beginning. Uh, this is my, I'm putting in densities for December 10th. I'm going to the airport, so I'm gonna open that up. Uh, that edit summary daily field report right there in red, that's a CPU I did, so I'm gonna ignore that. I'm gonna click on new test. It's gonna bring down the sub menu. And right here, that's turning red, it says sand cone. I always click the density underneath it. That's how I find it. It's, you're going to click new, new nuclear density ASTM 6938. Um, you're gonna, I'm going to click that. I'm going to open it up. Again, you have to do a minimum of three. On this particular time, I'm going to do six. Um, uh, contractor, the contractor at my job is fog glass. The weather condition, I'm going to put fair spec group if it's not a saws job you only have two options saws and soil relative compaction so obviously it's going to be soil relative compaction here you pick your spec on this particular job i'm looking for a 95 plus two minus two so i'm going to go all the way down till i see it i'm going to choose 95 plus two minus two you see it right there filled out in spec right here where it says retest uh retest the previous test that's obviously it's it's uh, hopefully self-explanatory if you are retesting what you do is you would check this box and it asks you to then you got to reference the date and the work order from the previous tests if that makes sense so you have to know what 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 retest what test you're retesting uh, but this is not a retest general location this is where you again like you just put your general location you would put building pad you would put uh, north parking lot you would put sanitary sewer line six inch sanitary sanitary sewer line you would put electrical duct bank whatever um over at the airport we're doing backfill on a cable that they're bearing and it's called the ffa cable and i'm going to put uh between taxiway e and f and then this and then the second line location that's where you get more specific so if you're in a building pad, uh, use a grid line if possible. If not, come off of the corners of the building. Uh, but that's where you put your specific location. So on this particular one, I'm putting 150 feet north of taxiway F. I'm going to hit done. Layer type. Um, backfill is what I'm doing. Of course, other to choose from. Uh, usually backfill, uh, general fill um select fill and subgrade those are like the four that you're going to use depending on what you're doing me particular on this one i'm doing backfill and then under lift number right here i'm going to do three on the first lift and three on the second lift that's how i'm going to end up with six so i'm going to put lift number one then i'm going to pick my proctor of my list these are all my proctors um, i'm going to pick this one right here uh which one is it uh f9 59 s5 i can't find it there it is 59 s5 this is my proctor and it fills in all the material this is the material description where it was sampled uh and the numbers 132.6 at 92 my density gauge i'm using density gauge 70466 and my standards for the day were 2167 and 612 how deep did I go? I put that under probe depth, six inches. And then on my on this particular test, my wet density was 140.9, 10.7 on my moisture. Now you can do this. I'm only doing this for the example. I don't ever do this, but I'm gonna hit the word calculate down right here, the red square that says calculate, and it's gonna give me the numbers. If my numbers are out of spec, um, it's gonna come up red. You can kind of see um well i'll wait till this goes away till it calculates it and this always is always going to take a while but that's why i don't hit calculate i just hit add new um but we're going to hit add new in a second i'm just showing you how the calculate works this first one always takes a little bit longer the rest are quicker okay so right here in the blue numbers um uh it says it has to be over 95 i got a 96 and then i have a minus two to two moisture spec and I'm 1.5 over. So if you look up here, I have, I have to be a 9.2 and I ended up with a 10.7. So that's how I got that 1.5 right there.
I can't highlight it, but anyway, so it's good. If it was bad, those numbers would be in red. Okay. Uh, watch this just to show you. Um, let's see. I hit 12.7 and I hit calculate. See how those numbers in red, my, my moisture, I went down to 94.3. So it's in red and I went down to, I went too high 3.5 over. So, um, it tells you if it's wrong, but in this particular case, it's right. I'm going to hit calculate. Both numbers are black. Cool. That's my first density. Add new. All right. Like I said, the first one always takes longer and that's how you input a density. Those are the things you fill out. <clears throat> um, on the second density, I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to show you what you leave blank. Um, I guess I should have done that on the first one, but anyway, it's, uh, <clears throat> it'll be all right. Again, this takes probably about 30 seconds sometimes, sometimes less, sometimes more. It's not because you have bad signal or it's not because your phone is slow. It's just a software. <clears throat> so on the very top, field sample ID. <clears throat> All right, excuse me. That stays blank. Um, everything else stays filled out for you. It already says fog glass. It already, the weather stays the same. The solar relative compaction stays the same. All that stays the same. This particular one, I am 300 feet north. 300 feet north of... of taxiway f um depth you leave that alone elevation you leave that alone lift number one it's i'm still in the first lift all that stays the same i'm gonna all this is filled out for me still so that's gonna go to six inches and then my wet density on this one was 139.7 and my moisture was 9.8 and i'm gonna hit done and i'm gonna hit add new that's how quick it goes. Like I said, this one's a little bit quicker because most of the stuff stays filled out for you. <clears throat> On this third one, I'm gonna do it and I'm just gonna do it like as, not as fast as possible, but I'm just gonna do it without explaining it and just to kind of show you how long it takes. For me, a rule of thumb is that if I'm gonna put six densities, it should take me six minutes to do my paperwork without any interruptions or anything like that. Okay, on this next one. 200, 200 feet south of taxiway echo done lift number one six inches 141.6 at 9.0 add new and there i go that's how long it took it actually probably took i don't know 15 20 seconds the longest part is waiting for this damn thing to load for the next one <clears throat> and that is how you put in three densities um i have three more to put in you know what now i'm just gonna do uh, i'm gonna do uh one more and then i'm gonna hit done and show you what it looks like uh, so bear with me as i put in one more density so on this one 100 feet north of taxiway f um lift number two on this one probe depth six inches and then uh 140.2 was what i got and 11.1 i'm gonna hit done and then i'm gonna pretend i'm done with all my density so i'm gonna hit done again on the bottom right the red box and here's my list of densities so if you look, the first one, it's 96% compaction and 1.5 too wet, which is okay because you have up to two. Remember, plus two, minus two. On the second one, I got a 95.9. I got 0.6 too wet, which is, again, okay. This one, I got a 98.0. And this one's uh, 0.2 dry. So that means I was 0.2% below the... The required moisture but that's okay because i have a minus two and then on the fourth one um 95.2 at 1.9 wet so i almost i'm on the top side of the wet but it uh, i'm still under spec um if i want to add some more so again and that's how you do multiple densities uh if you want to stop watching hopefully that helped but i'm going to go and add the two more real quick um i'm going to click nuclear density <clears throat> And when I open it up, all that same information is still filled out for you. So just because you hit done, you don't have to start all over from the beginning. 
Uh, and one quick thing also that I want to point out, I guess I should have done this earlier, when it's final lift, you got to do something different. And then I'll show you right now as this loads. Again, it's 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 taking forever, but not not because I don't have signal. So all this information is filled out. So I'm going to say this is my final lift, 250 feet north of 260, whatever. Taxiway F, done. <clears throat> this box where you put your lift number, it does not let you put in letters. So if I put final, it'll let me input it. But as soon as I hit done, it disappears. Okay, if it's your final lift, you would put it right here. And then you keep scrolling. Okay, so the this depth, this depth field right here, uh, you only fill that out if it's your final lift and you write the word final. If it's not your final lift, then you put your lifts right here. So this is my second lift. Still, I got three on my second lift. Six inches, 142.3 at 10.4 done and i gotta add one more uh number six <clears throat> come on this is a frustrating part to be honest is this loading that's why it takes like a minute per test because Half the time it's this damn loading thing. And then this last one is 150 feet south of taxiway echo lift number two. Six inches. We just did two lifts this day, 141.8 at 8.9. All of my densities are in. Um let me show you something here also. Let's say I put 6.9. That's out of spec, right? Okay, I'm going to hit done, and then I'm going to hit done again. I didn't see the red numbers because I didn't hit calculate. But when I hit done, there's my six densities. One, two, three, four. Oh, there's my six densities. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. This very last one I uh, is showing 100%, but it's showing 2.3% dry, and it has that little asterisk, that little star next to the word dry. That means it's out of spec. So before I hit done again, I'm going to look at this whole list of all of these and I'm going to look for that little asterisk right there. That one that just got highlighted. I'm going to look for that. And if any of them have that after the word wet or dry, then that means it's out of spec. So I'm going to open up just that one and say, oh, it's not 6.9. It was 8.9. My fat fingers typed in the wrong numbers. So I'm going to hit done and I'm going to look at this list again. And if you notice, the asterisk is gone. I didn't mean to click that. 98.2 at uh, minus 0.3% dry. And I'm going to hit done again. And it takes me back to my list of work orders. And I just finished all my paperwork for the airport yesterday. That is how you input density.